In the year 2154, Earth is vastly overpopulated and ravaged by pollution and disease. The rich and powerful have fled the planet to live on Elysium, a luxurious space habitat orbiting Earth. Elysium is a utopian paradise equipped with advanced medical technology capable of curing any ailment, and it stands in stark contrast to the decaying Earth, where people live in squalor and desperation. Our story begins in the sprawling slums of Los Angeles, where we meet our protagonist, Max da Costa. Max is a former car thief who is trying to live an honest life, working in an Armadine factory, the same corporation responsible for building Elysium. Despite his efforts, Max's life is a daily struggle for survival. The Earth is governed by robotic law enforcement and is under the thumb of Elysium's strict immigration policies. Unauthorized travel to Elysium is forbidden, and those attempting it are shot down without mercy. Max's life takes a tragic turn when he is exposed to a lethal dose of radiation during an accident at the factory. He is informed that he has only five days to live. Desperate and with nothing to lose, Max agrees to a dangerous plan orchestrated by Spider, a notorious smuggler with connections to the criminal underworld. Spider outfits Max with a powerful exoskeleton, enhancing his strength and combat capabilities, with the promise that in return, Max will help steal valuable data from Elysium. Meanwhile, on Elysium, we meet Secretary Delacorte, a high-ranking official who is frustrated with the current administration's leniency towards Earth. She is willing to go to any lengths to preserve Elysium's exclusivity and protect it from Earth's inhabitants. Delacorte secretly employs a rogue agent, Kruger, to execute her ruthless plans to stop any illegal immigration attempts. Max, armed with his new exoskeleton and a team of Spider's men, embarks on a perilous mission to kidnap John Carlyle, the CEO of Armadine. Carlyle possesses a program that can override Elysium's computer systems, a tool that Spider believes can be used to make all Earth residents citizens of Elysium. The plan, however, goes awry when Delacorte, learning of the plot, activates Kruger to intercept them. A fierce battle ensues, and Max manages to download the data from Carlyle's brain to his own. Unfortunately, this data is encrypted, making it useless to Spider without the right encryption key. Max, now the most wanted man by Elysium's authorities, becomes the target of an intense manhunt led by Kruger. On the run and suffering from his worsening condition, Max reconnects with his childhood friend, Fry, who is now a nurse with a sick daughter suffering from leukemia. Fry sees Max's condition and begs him to take her daughter to Elysium for treatment, but Max, focused on his own survival, reluctantly refuses. Max, now realizing the potential of the information in his head, becomes a central figure in the struggle between Earth and Elysium. He is pursued relentlessly by Kruger, who is ruthless and relentless. Max manages to evade capture, but in a twist of fate, Fry and her daughter are taken hostage by Kruger, who uses them as bait to lure Max out. Meanwhile, back on Elysium, political intrigue unfolds as Delacorte's aggressive actions draw scrutiny from President Patel, the leader of Elysium. Patel reprimands Delacorte for her unauthorized use of Kruger and his team, but Delacorte is unapologetic, believing her actions are justified to protect Elysium from Earth's overpopulation crisis. Back on Earth, Max, realizing that he cannot save himself without also helping others, makes a pivotal decision. He decides to rescue Fry and her daughter, understanding that the program in his head could change the lives of millions on Earth. Max reconnects with Spider, and they hatch a plan to infiltrate Elysium and use Carlyle's program to make everyone on Earth a citizen of Elysium, thereby granting them access to its advanced medical facilities. The final act of the film is a high-stakes confrontation on Elysium. Max and Spider's team launch a daring assault on the space habitat. They face fierce resistance from Elysium's security forces, but Max's determination and his enhanced abilities help them break through. During this intense battle, Kruger, who has been enhanced with a similar exoskeleton, confronts Max in a brutal showdown. 
The fight is vicious and personal, and Max is pushed to his limits. Meanwhile, Fry desperately tries to find a med pod to cure her daughter. She navigates the pristine, unfamiliar environment of Elysium, constantly evading security. Her journey is a poignant contrast to the chaos unfolding with Max's mission. In the climax, Max manages to defeat Kruger, but he is severely wounded. He reaches the central computer core of Elysium, where he has the choice to use the program to heal himself or fulfill his promise to Spider and the people of Earth. In a moment of self-sacrifice, Max chooses the latter. He uploads the program, knowing that it will cost him his life. This act reboots Elysium's systems, registering every Earth resident as a citizen of Elysium. As Max dies, his final thoughts are of Fry and her daughter, hoping that his actions have secured a better future for them and for everyone on Earth. His sacrifice becomes a symbol of hope and resistance against the inequality that had plagued humanity. In the aftermath, medical shuttles are dispatched to Earth, where they begin providing much-needed medical care to the impoverished population. Frey's daughter is cured, and the people of Earth look up to see Elysium not as a distant, unattainable dream, but as a symbol of a new era of equality and hope.